All right, here's going to be another problem that we're going to use logarithmic differentiation on. So suppose I have the function x squared raised to sine of x, and we want to figure out what y prime is equal to. Okay, well, you have to be careful. It's not like it's, you know, x squared to some power, the power comes out front, take one away, multiply by the derivative of the inside using the chain rule. Um, that's definitely not correct. And the thing to notice in this problem is you have something with a variable raised to something with a variable inside of it. Whenever you see a problem like that, by and large, I'm trying to think of an example where you wouldn't, um, I can't off the top of my head, you're going to want to use logarithmic differentiation to find the derivative. So again, the basic idea, we'll take the natural logarithm of the left side, we'll take the natural logarithm of the right side, and there's nothing magic about the natural logarithm. You could use any logarithm you want to, um, but the derivative of the natural logarithm is kind of the most simple of all the derivative formulas. So I'm not doing anything on the right. I'm now going to use my property that exponents can come out as coefficients. So I'll get sine of x times ln of what's left over, which is x squared. And now I'm going to take the derivative with respect to x of both sides, noticing on the right side that I'm going to have to use the product rule. So the derivative of ln of y, that's 1 over y, times y prime, or dy dx, as I did in my other example. The derivative of sine is just cosine of x, and I'll leave the ln of x squared alone. If I wanted to, I could have even pulled the 2 out front on this, since it is ln of x to a variable power, but I didn't really think about it. Plus, now I'll leave the sine of x alone. And then when I take the derivative of ln of x squared, I'll get 1 over x squared, and then I have to multiply that by the derivative of the inside, or 2x. And now we're pretty much done in this problem. All we have to do is just multiply through by the y on both sides we'll get y prime equals y but again y is x squared raised to the sine of x power so this is my y term that I'm multiplying on both sides and then basically just drop down what you found on the right side so you have cosine of x times ln of x squared plus sine of x and I could cancel out an x over here with an x down here so I can make this times 2 over x. And that'll now be my derivative using implicit, or excuse me, not implicit differentiation, but logarithmic differentiation. So again, if you see variables raised to variables, pretty much the only way that you can find the derivative of that is to use logarithmic differentiation. Again, there could be some little weird counterexample that I'm forgetting, but um, definitely this way works. So if you see something like that, introduce your logarithms, break it up using properties of logarithms, and just start taking derivatives, multiply both sides by y, replacing y with what it is at the very beginning, and you'll have your answer.